Hi, hearties. Welcome. Come on in, get settled, and most importantly, get excited. It is finally the time for season 11 of When Calls the Heart. I'm Deidre Behar from Entertainment Tonight. It is always a privilege and an honor to be here today. We're celebrating another live event with four people who are truly legends. They need no introduction, but please help me welcome Aaron Krako. Hi. Kevin Smith. Jack Wagner and Pascal Hutton. Oh, you guys, I feel such good energy and such good vibes going into this weekend, the season 11 premiere. How are we feeling? Good. How? Yeah. yeah, really good. Season 11, it crept up on us, and I am so excited for us to get the episode on Sunday. So in order to get a little more excited, I'm hoping that you'll answer a few of my burning questions. Aaron, let's, let's dive right in with you. Gosh. The hot topic right now, Elizabeth's new hair. What inspired this big change? I really thought you were going to lead with romance, but this is great. Let's just go straight. We're building up. We're building up. She's sure. so happy right now. Um, <laughs> what inspired the change? Okay, well, there was a lot of chatter. The writers were kind of trying to figure out what's a good way to visually illustrate this new chapter in Elizabeth's life, her desire for some kind of change. And there was talk of maybe redecorating the row house, but I was really ready for a little bit of something different, having rocked that long hair style for some time. And, um, and luckily, everyone was on board and our hairstylist, Jill, was excited to make it happen. And I think Rosemary was excited to make it happen on screen. <laughs> we made a change. We went for it. Pascal, did you get to have some fun with some scissors? I did, but honestly, it was a bit of uh, trick camera work. I didn't actually get to really dive in there like I was hoping to. <laughs> so aggressive coming at me with the scissors. Yeah, you're used to it. I know Rosemary thinks it's a brilliant idea based off of the trailer that we have out right now. I can't wait to see how that moment all goes down. And I'm particularly excited to see how the rest of the folks in the town respond to Elizabeth debuting this new look. Now, if we back up to the season 10 finale, I think it's fair to say that Elizabeth and Nathan kind of all but confirmed their feelings for one another. So can you catch me up, Aaron, and tell me how are Elizabeth and Nathan doing at the beginning of season 11? Well, we kind of have two beginnings to season 11. We have um, the very start of episode one, which picks up right where we left off at the end of season 10. Um, Bill and Nathan and Elizabeth ride off on their horses up the hill, and then we ride back into town on those same horses, ready to continue that conversation. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to get to explore that moment after the big news about Lucas hits. Yeah. Um, and then we flash forward a little bit of time the investigation has happened. Lucas has had some time to heal. And um, Nathan is riding back into Hope Valley and mm -hmm. Elizabeth sees him approach. And I think there is um, a sense of, wow, they've really missed each other, but neither one is totally certain that the other one still has feelings for them. So it's a real dance and a slow burn as the season progresses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you mentioned the name Lucas several times just now. And of course, we have so much love for this Lucas Bouchard character. He is so wonderful and so charming. And first of all, we're hoping that he's okay. Can you assure us that he's going to be okay and we're going to see him in this season 11 premiere? Yes. Okay, Come thank on. You. Well, listen, <laughs> I just got to ask the obvious. So Lucas is okay. How is he doing emotionally, knowing that his engagement was called off? You might catch a glimpse of Elizabeth hanging out with Nathan, Nathan hanging out with Elizabeth. Oh man, you're really you're really getting ahead of yourself here. Like we just gotta get him healed and on his feet first. <laughs> okay, so he's not even thinking about this at first. I I can't speak to exactly what Lucas is thinking about, but <laughs> I will say I think his first order of business is getting out of his hospital bed and getting back to um, being governor, which is like a huge responsibility for him. Uh, and then as the season progresses, we see how the dynamic has shifted between Elizabeth and Lucas kind of moving into this, um, friendship that, that is still very much there because 
they, they care for each other and respect each other. Um, and then seeing the ways that Elizabeth and Nathan might proceed with a little more caution out of respect for mm-hmm. Lucas. Okay. I so was we- led to believe we were going to have puffball questions. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Come on. This is I'm not a joking. softball game. I'm We're hard hitting. What is a softball? You know, like uh, little fluffies. Like a fluff piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your favorite color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Want, I mean, Aaron wasn't supposed to be sweating under her arms in the first <gasps> two or three minutes. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I have an obligation to a group of people you might be familiar with. They're called the Hardies. They are so invested and so ride or die for this show. That is my obligation to ask the important questions. Yep. Eric, my final question for you. We discussed hair. We discussed a little romance. My other favorite thing specifically about the Elizabeth character are uh-huh. the children, whether it's little Jack or the kids in school. What kind of moments can you tease that are just going to make our hearts explode and, and melt with joy in season 11? So many sweet, tender moments with the kids. And I'm sure Pascal and Cabin will be able to speak to that as well. Um, but some of the things that I think our viewers will really enjoy are the Easter episode. There's a lot of fun for the kids. And um, there's also there's a real sweetness to little Jack reaching an age where he wants to start coming to the classroom and getting to hang out with his mom as a teacher and see what that's like. So. You know, getting to see little Jack mature and reach those milestones was very sweet to play. I cannot wait to see all of that. What a great segue into Kevin and Pascal. After so many seasons of us having conversations of when will the cultures receive the blessing of becoming parents, we got to see that happen in season 10. So catch me up. Where are we going to find these new parents? Are are they still considered new parents? In season 10. Yes, very yes. much new parents. Yeah. yeah. You're laughing like you know something. Is, are, are, are you thinking about moments with the baby on set? Oh, She's okay. delightful. Our little Goldie is just the sweetest little thing in the world. And she's so happy and fun to be around. And she's not talking. Well, I mean, she started talking actually this season, but she was um, off off camera. On camera, she's not really talking. <laughs> no. But she does a lot of like coming to Kevin or coming to I and just being like, oh, 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 oh. and she's like so cute. Like she's really just cute as a button. I I I don't know how we got so lucky with her. Yeah, she's a real sweetheart. On the first day, I mean, I really pushed for this baby thing going back several <laughs> years. I really was <clears throat> at the forefront of this. But uh, on our first couple of days, it did not look great. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Tell me. She was teething, poor thing. Yeah, she was so- teething, and it, and we didn't, we weren't sure if it was going to work out, and we didn't have, we hadn't figured out how to work with her yet, and what she would like, and we didn't get her to trust us yet. And uh, but then by the second episode, she was she was all over us, and it was just a lot of fun, and then just all about discovering the kind of things that she wants to do and put her in positions where she's happy and yeah. then try and get that on camera. So but she's, she's like, oh my God. <laughs> such a- so it's a huge milestone in any person's life, obviously when they become a parent, but I know that Lee and Rosemary are so entrenched in this town. They've got so many responsibilities. How are they going to balance and manage everything that comes with new parenthood while they are running multiple businesses? I think they do a great example, set a great example for bringing the baby into the fold of their life. And so there's multiple scenes where Goldie's hanging out with us in Coulter's, like in the office, and we're doing work and we've got the baby. And um, and then there's moments where we're at home with her or like working on stuff at home with her and uh, you know, I actually think uh, Lee and Rosemary didn't fumble as much as I maybe thought they were going to with transitioning into being new parents. Like they've really tried to incorporate her into their life. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I was actually hoping for more fumbling when they first uh, when we first got this in. I was thinking this is a great opportunity for all sorts of fun. And I I still think there's a lot of time to play with that kind of stuff. but. Um, uh, having 
being a parent myself, and we just finished our spring break and the house is chaos. And it's just every part of your life is affected every single day. I feel like a stress bomb half the time. And I think it's also like that on set with a baby. <laughs> you feel like a stress bomb trying to get it to work. But, yeah. Uh, we got really lucky. Pascal was involved in, in getting a chance to choose the kid. And, and she's just she's just a sweetheart. She um, really is. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see hopefully lots of cute Goldie moments in season 11. Lots. But as far as career is concerned, we've got the Valley Voice, we've got the Saloon, we've got the Mill. What am I leaving out? I feel like these two people have a hand in everything in Hope Valley. <laughs> well, Lee yeah. really turns it up a few notches this season. I mean, what aren't you involved in? I feel like you're involved in everything this season. I think when you when you when you run the risk of when you call the writers up and you say, "Hey, you know, I'm not super <laughs> happy with this," they just start sticking you everywhere. Now, I'm involved in every job in the city. I'm going to start running the mercantile next year if we do that. <laughs> hey, you leave that Yost alone. That place yeah. is quite yeah. enjoy. Okay. <laughs> what can you tell me in terms of challenges Rosemary and Lee are going to face in terms of their careers? And I don't know, maybe even elevating their careers this season. Well, I think Rosemary's biggest challenge this year is she's kind of pivoting into uh some investigative journalism there's a big mystery hanging over the entire season and she's trying to get someone looking at you jack wagner uh bill avery to take her seriously and uh kind of work with her and uh prove herself that she has the the guts and the smarts to kind of work right alongside him in solving some mysteries this season uh, Jack, are you giving, is your character Bill giving Rosemary a hard time? Yes. Gives <laughs> <laughs> everybody a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is that dynamic like, Jack, getting to team up with Pascal and seeing the two of your characters kind of work in tandem to solve this mystery? You know, we had to approach it. I think both of us would agree um, that we kind of had to, experience one another let the characters sort of experience one another because you know rosemary pascal her character is so pushy you know and so driven and bill is by the book right it's, it's like we don't have we don't have liter newspaper people involved in criminal cases you know and so it was that whole process i think that um really gave us the opportunity to kind of get to know each other on a different level as people and actors and also let the characters figure out who we are here in terms of moving forward. And there were some real crucial points that we, you know, specifically became a team together. So, you know, those moments are important to justify and make it believable, you know, that these two would be working together. And, and it was a lot of fun. It was, it was fantastic. And not, it's honest. not just the character. Rosemary can win yeah. anybody over, <laughs> even <What>? Bill Avery. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> what did you say, Kevin? I was going to say it's not just the character that's pushy, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Kevin, you leave my beloved Pascal alone. Yeah, Which that's is, right. I you are beloved. her. I'm beloved. I would say, having seen every episode of season 11, it is so much fun seeing Rosemary and Bill play this like buddy cop thing together. Your chemistry together is so like delightful and bubbly and unexpected and comical. And I think because Rosemary and Bill haven't had a ton to do together over the years, seeing that pairing is is just going to be super fun for the fans. I think they're really going to like it. I was just going to say, Aaron, I'm so glad you said that because in my brain, I obviously know there's so many great Rosemary Elizabeth scenes. There's so many Bill and Elizabeth scenes, obviously Rosemary and Lee scenes. I'm not, it's, there's not a ton coming to mind where Bill and Rosemary cross paths. So as human beings, getting to work together a lot seemingly in season 11, Jack, how do you describe that? Well, first of all, you've got to you know be open-minded because... You know, Pascal plays her character very theatrical, right? And Bill is, as I said, very rigid, I would call that character, and, you know, terse. So it's sort of, a, a, I think, both for me personally and as an actor to approach it open-mindedly mm -hmm. and let the material kind of take, take place and let it be what it's supposed to be. And then we really 
sort of got to know one another, I think, on a deeper level as people and actors. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was it was then finding the comedy out of that and also finding the truth out of that and both of them be driven to the truth and then including Nathan. And then, uh, you, you know, it became a process, not only as actors, but also as as uh, friends collaborating on the material because we collaborated a lot on trying to keep it, you know, how are we going to find the truth here? How are we going to work this dialogue to make it believable? Right. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that was really our focus. And so whatever comes out of that, you know, was, was give, came out of the process of uh, Pascal and I really collaborating a lot together. Pascal, how'd you feel getting to share the screen so much with Mr. Wagner? Well, you know, um, no, <laughs> Be nice. No, it was Be awesome. Nice. <laughs> Aaron reached out to me when stories were being broken, and she said, "So they're they're looking at this pairing of Rosemary and Bill." And right away, I was like, "Amazing!" I could see the comedy, I could see the banter, I could see how it would pop on screen because they're such opposite extremes. Their energy, the way they approach the town and yet they they have this common like search for truth and search for uh justice but in such totally different ways and i think anytime you can have a pairing of opposites in in drama and comedy it's gold and so i could see that instantly and uh and then it delivered when we each scene that we were getting especially in the first few episodes where you see Bill's reticence to, to bring Rosemary in and trust her and her growing frustration with that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, uh, in my opinion, it's very funny. It's very funny to see that kind of banter and it's very quick. Both of them are very smart and uh, it kind of goes back and forth, but, but Rosemary talks so fast that I think she kind of, almost talk circles around Bill and he kind of is like, well, wait, what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> and so that's a funny dynamic. And so I, I just thought it was amazing. It ended up being amazing, but I could see that it was going to be fantastic right from the get-go. I cannot wait to watch these buddy cop scenes moments play out. Um, Jack, I want to ask you a question about your character, Bill. He's unique in, in many ways, but he's unique in that he's very close with Elizabeth. He obviously works with Nathan, and then he's got the job of protecting the governor. We know that those three are going to seemingly have a complicated dynamic in season 11. How does Bill navigate all of that? I think it was important uh, to kind of back up Erin, what she was saying at the beginning, because Bill is with Elizabeth uh, in the opening episode when it comes to dealing with Lucas and what's happened to him and, and visiting him and basically peeling that onion back of what this is going to look like now in terms of what's happened to him. Um, so I think the word is respectful. I think um, there's no secret at all as to the fan base for uh, Kevin McGarry and Chris McNally, okay, Lucas and Nathan. And I think it's really respectful and it's done tastefully how that these characters now are going to find themselves, who, who they're going to be now. And at the end of season, remember, at the end of season, Lucas was firmly committed on this governorship. And, you know, that's what has to unfold for that character, right? Mm -hmm. That he is two feet in, in this job and how it unfolds and where his, his actual, when he does actually return to Hope Valley, how that's done and mm -hmm. how it's played out not to repeat a triangle, because I think everybody, we lived that, but yet there's still residual, you know, there's leftover feelings uh, when something like this happens, you know, an engagement when that's broken off and you can't move too fast. And at the same time, you've got to honor what was. And I, I think it's done beautifully. I think Aaron plays it well. Both the guys play it fantastic. And I also want to talk about, I've seen some episodes, Goldie. Just well. Pascal and and uh, Kevin with Goldie. I mean, these I sit there and my mouth opens. You guys have such a great relationship with that baby. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And and Aaron with little Jack. These kids steal the show. It's, it's fantastic. 
That was very sweet. Um, you know, we, we talked about a little bit of romance with Elizabeth and Nathan and Lucas. And then, of course, obviously, Lee and Rosemary. They're our endgame couple. They're my endgame couple. When is my buddy Bill going to find some romance? We sort of toyed with that idea with Madeline last season. Yeah. Is his heart open to romance again, maybe, in season 11? Yeah, you know, this season, it, it would be open to it. But he is absolutely committed to defending this town and finding out the truth and that is his super objective for season 11 and he's got this little companion that's just yapping away the whole time this yeah, there's story. only room for and one just... woman in bill's life great answer there you go deidre there's one woman anybody that looked at me you rosemary's like what's what the pit bill 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 right he yeah, can't be in two places just... at once oh that was well played well played pascal i love that before we wrap up, since this is season 11, I thought it would be fun to do a little rapid fire. Oh, gosh. I'm, it's, it's, it's simple. I'm going to set 11 seconds on my phone. I'm going to time you. You're going to get 11 it's seconds. Nightmare. No, 11 seconds to say whatever is on your heart, your mind about season 11. Why we should tune in something that you've been thinking about, a storyline that you're most excited for the fans to see. Who wants to go first? Maybe we should do it all at the same time. <laughs> yes. Look, you know what? Jack looks prepared. Jack, are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. Let's go. 11 seconds starting now. Why I watch this show, even though I'm in it and a fan of it, it makes me laugh and it makes me cry. Done. Perfect. Was he acting or did he just choke up? <laughs> I think the camera froze. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, really did it. I choked up. I really that did. was really, it was very the moving. Moves, very sweet. I don't want to go next. No, I mean, Kevin, you're next. I'm putting, no. you on, I'm putting you on the spot. Three, two, one. The little show that could is still doing it. Here we are after all these years, friends, doing it for the people that keep watching our show and happy to keep going. Season 11 is going to be great. Beautifully oh, done. Is... All right. Aaron or Pascal? I'll oh, go. Aaron, you can wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> Pascal, three, two, one. Our show this season has everything that everyone has come to expect and loves of this show. There's family, there's community, there's love, there's romance, there's children. Perfect. Perfect. No. Wait, can you ask the question? What's the question again? I hate this. Pressure is on. Anything you want to say to the Hardys, what you're most excited about in season 11? But you don't understand. Like, actually, my heart is beating <laughs> so fast right now. This gives me, I'm like... Full body anxiety. Listen, we want to, We only want to make you feel joyful. We're not here to make you feel stressed. You just understand how you guys did that so well. Like it was nothing. Well, we all wrote it down. I emailed them before this started. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, okay. two, one. Okay. I want to say thank you to the Hardys for being the backbone of our show, for being so loyal and passionate and loving and for keeping us on the air. So we get to continue doing what we love with the people we love. <gasps> really? You got a few extra seconds, but that was excellent. That was so wonderful. I appreciate all of you so much. Are there any final words before we wrap up that you want to share with your fans watching? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of our hearts. Truly. From the bottom of Pascal's heart. Yes, from the bottom <laughs> of Pascal's heart. Yeah, mine's Which the biggest really heart. isn't all that deep. It's just it's like about there. Oh. I'm joking. Let's go back. Backtrack a few seconds yeah, to where yeah. we just said thank you, and then we'll cut it there. <laughs> On that note of gratitude, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. You better be there this Sunday night, 9 o'clock, 8 central, When Calls the Heart, season 11 premiere, April 7th on Hallmark Channel, and, of course, streaming the next day on Hallmark Movies Now. I will be tweeting using the hashtag Hardys. Will you guys be able to live tweet on Sunday? We're yes. tweeting. Yes. We are yes. tweeting. Tweet. Let's do it. Is Don't it called forget. tweeting now? Do we still call it tweeting? <laughs> We're you don't even have a cell We're phone. Accent, yeah. I have a cell phone. I have a cell phone. I just don't know phone. how to use it. 
<laughs> Pascal can teach you how to do that. All right. <laughs> oh, Thanks, I've given up years ago. Years ago. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Bye. Bye.